Hey everyone, hope you're all having a nice week. Um, we're going to play a game that Mel picked and it's about a frog that is also a detective. That's about all I know about it. Um, let's find out more about it. We had to let Mel pick the game because uh, <laughs> the last week's game was, was it didn't quite go over well with the Mel demographic. Who, who would have thought? Uh... uh The Haunted Island, Island, a frog detective game. That's a good bullfrog. Bye bye, bullfrog. <laughs> no, it's just fun to, to change things up. New game. No, the worst thing, I mean, I, the setting thing, I kind of knew that that was always, that was never going to last. The worst thing for me was, was before I learned how to shoot the gun properly. And then just like, like wounding animals. That's just, <laughs> that's not nice. Look at these awful controls. Ah, ring, ring, ring. Mouse sensitivity is kind of high too. Let me tone that down just a little bit. A picture on the wall. Hello, who is it? Yes, this is Detective Frog. It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. How's life? I'm pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? <laughs> I tripped Indonesia, wow. Well, Selamat Datang Kambali. Means welcome back, I think. 
This is a smart little frog. A spooky case. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. This is like, I'm going to pretend now this is in the same universe as uh, Phasmophobia. We were the ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? They show up in this van. They got like these cameras and flashlights, but not enough for all of them. And they're just like goofing around in the house, trying to call out to the ghost and hope that it answers until it scares the bejesus out of them and they run out. And then some of them die and they get 20 bucks. And they can't find anything. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up, right? They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Lobster Cop is a pretty good, pretty great name. They need to make a sequel with Lobster Cop. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. <laughs> I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. <laughs> Oh, man. Sounds pretty scary. I have to be very brave. Can you give me a summary of the case? The basic is, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his highland. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. So it's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why'd you yell the haunted island like that? Because this is the title of the case. Fair enough. See you later, supervisor. Ah, tried to walk with the correct key and it didn't work. Can't solve mysteries without the magnifying glass. Satinal heard me right. Time to solve a mystery. A good, that's a good walk. Grace Bruxner presents A Frog Detective Adventure Programming by Thomas Bowker Soundtrack by Dan Golding Should I be boating in this lightning? Starring the detective, Martin, Larry, Mo the Mouse Mouse, Bernie, Fresh X, and the rest. Look at these guys. good frog walk if I were a frog and I had to walk somewhere I'd want to walk like that hmm maybe a man in a suit hmm. Roy you finally made it thanks for coming on such a short notice 
I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Well, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would solve that case. I mean, who steers an entire steals an entire forest? Well, you've been following my blog posts. Yeah, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mr. Monkey 49 is my online name. You could just call me Mystery Monkey. <laughs> of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. You find him by hiding in the forest. Find him, find him hiding in the forest. Where do you start? <laughs> Who do I talk to second? Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Well, I think he mostly just wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. Hey, it's me, Larry! I did not do it. The noises are not coming from me. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. Sus. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, no, I heard it's just, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not a yo. You're not. Oh, that's such a relief. Are you gonna ask me questions? I'm gonna ask ask questions. I mean, then about the noises. Then, huh? I'm not the one making them. <laughs> but but I know where they're coming from. They're, they're coming from the cave. In the forest, nobody listens to me. They say like stuff like, "Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you," which is kind of weird because I do listen, and maybe I'm really a great listener. Well, I need a few things. To get there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Does that, does that say? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and, and some and some pasta. So, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the, the standard explosive recipe. Yes! If you want to know that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do, I'll do my best. Toothpaste, wool, pure gold, and some pasta. I, wa I wanted to ask this guy if he followed the exploits of Larry, the la not Larry, he's Larry, but the lobster cop. What you got here? Some pasta. Maybe maybe this uh bear will let me have some of his pasta. Bernie. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. 
Well, I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? Uh, the job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't really seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. Still could be a test, test to cover me. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. We know about the noises coming from this hole. I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, just letting you know. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Yes, I'm uh, very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bertie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. <laughs> what else do you want to know? You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. Not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. <laughs> Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I'd want more. He didn't tell me about the pasta. Mmm, pasta. This, uh, this guy looks very distraught. What's he got in his hand? It looks like a honeycomb. Or is, oh, it's a, a shell. I'll get it now. Hi! Howdy. Wait, I guess you're in the wrong voice. <laughs> Swimming! There's a, there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually not that unsafe to swim in storms. So everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but uh, it's safer in here than it is up there. No ghosts in the water. <laughs> ghosts can't swim. Martin said so. I'm like, I'm, I guess I'm not. <laughs> I ask, I ask why you're so sad? Well, that's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. <laughs> why do you want a magnet? Well, <laughs> go on. <laughs> My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. I mean, you could just hold on to the boat. Just saying. Cut out the middle middle magnet. If it sweetens a deal, I can give you this big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? Magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? I thought you were a scientist. <laughs> I 
heard noise is coming from the holes. Uh, they freaked me out so bad I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water? Uh, two weeks. Are your feet wrinkly? I, yeah, well, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. A little happy starfish. I can't get any further down. So we got some, we got some bather over there. Another happy starfish. Talk to you. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go check this guy out. Very interesting. <laughs> Fresh X. Howdy. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great! You brought my toothpaste shipment? I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I even call you D-Tech? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Take it away, D-Tech. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. <laughs> Not about the sun. About taking a day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. You have wonderful teeth. Thank you! I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles. 101 tooth whitening. Cool paste for teeth, of course. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. <laughs> Do you have teeth? Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Buy me. Why are you back here? Notes. Some hole. Noises. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is a ghost? I'm not qualified. Hey, it's a magnet. It said tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh. Look at this crab. Noodle. How's it hanging? Sus <laughs> suspicious. Surely you can't say that I'm suspicious. 
There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know! <laughs> it's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck! It's so gross. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. <laughs> I think most people like Walt. She is for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. <laughs> okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm sim saying that as someone who's very slimy. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean... Your own bowl, not not your shirt. Ugh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. <laughs> I, I probably won't use fire. I can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? What can you tell me about this hole? Well, I hate this hole! It never does anything! It, it's a, it's a... Well, it's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole, have you looked? Oh, I've looked, no ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. You hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. What's stopping you? The boss. Oh, who's the boss? I... I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe not. Science line! Don't go in! Yay, another starfish. Hello, snake. Room. Well, I'll just turn right back around and use this to sweep up the wool. Oh, 
Amazing, thanks, detective. It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not, not physically knock yourself out. Hey, snake. This guy's got a crown. It looks kind of, looks kind of upset. Ah, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective. You're from the agency? Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess you don't look so spooky. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here... There was nobody else on the island except me and Finley, so I thought it was fine to declare myself king. I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Finley lives on a nearby island, comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete, what with this whole spooky situation going on. Best dancer wins. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where the noises are coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. <laughs> I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide. Foolproof ways to detect a spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in this book, it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. <laughs> the proof is all there. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just a ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed, too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com, but now I'm living one. That made more sense in my head. I've solved every mystery I've taken on, except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. You know, you can like cradle, cradle it in the middle, between his eyes. You have to get just a smaller hat. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend, imagine, you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? 
this beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, no, the ghost is on a holiday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Oh, great point. Continue. <laughs> anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yes, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Yay, check up your gold. It's really heavy. Stick bug. Everyone is all the little critters are so happy. Orbit. Ah, stop right there. My shells. Don't step on my shells. We can't be sure of that. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells. From dangerous frog feet. <laughs> wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but uh, what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I did I get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. Oh, it's a cave for sure. I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey, sorry. <laughs> it's just that there's not that many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useful to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Orbit's on alert. Oh, now he's not on alert. I could step all over his shells. Hey, another little bug. Is this one happy? Sure <laughs> is. Mo. Hello. Yes. Are you sure? Well... I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. Well, that's very good news. 
the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You seem kind of nervous. Can I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing, I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives? Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. No, oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. Fine, fine, you've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. I want to complete it, compete in a dance competition tomorrow and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouth wash in return. That's my mouse wash mouth wash. All right, so have we talked to everybody? I think we have. We haven't talked to the ghost. That's true. Can I hear some 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 hooting? Do you see the ghost, Sentinel? Did I miss a conversation? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, I sure did. Uh, what can you tell me about the ghost? I was like, oh, I'm messing up my voices now. <laughs> Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You, you thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, well, you know... Uh, well, you know, because I, because you like toast? Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. I'm a spooky. <laughs> that happens in the movies. All right, I think we uh, can talk to other people to get the things that we need to get for the other people to get the things that we need for the other people. Mystery Monkey, what kind of dancing do you like? I don't remember what anybody's voice was now. <laughs> there were so many of these. I should just give them all brand new voices. <laughs> what dance style do you like the best? Break dancing. I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay, I'm sure it's important to the case. <laughs> Bye. I got a monkey fact.
Oh my gosh! Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. He likes breakdancing. Breakdancing? I think I could do that. I gotta start practicing though. Good luck. Mouthwash, mouse, mouse wash, mouthwash. Take it away, D Tech. Amazing, thanks. I forgot what this guy wanted for his, in exchange for a cell shell. Oh, he wanted the magnet, that's right. A dream come true. Wait, we didn't actually get the shell. Oh yeah, we did get the shell. Now we give the shell to orbit. Well, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. <laughs> I'm still on alert. Orbit's not on alert anymore, but he seems to be happy about his shell. All right, which one of you jokers wanted the uh, magnifying glass? Was it was it you? Lobster, okay. Yeah, this tank doesn't have anything new. All right, all right, all right, let me out of here. Worst detective. You don't even deserve to be on this island. That's not, he wanted the explosion. Pasta? Is it the guy right next to him? Yeah, it was this guy, because he wanted to be the, de the secret detective, or secret agent, but he needs the magnifying glass for it. There's literally yeah, nothing I want more. This is the best day ever. All of my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. What's cooking? Pasta, as always. There's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy. It's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like some pasta? Heck yeah.
All right. Pasta wool, gold, and uh, toothpaste? I think that's everything you wanted, right? Toothpaste, check. Wool, check. Pure gold, check. And some pasta, check. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Get to exploding, baby. Frog walk. Time to blow this cave up. Explosives are dangerous. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. <laughs> You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. <laughs> I'm not a baby. ghost can you hear me spooky ghost how old are you yes it's the dance uh, I forgot what her name was from the other island Finley that's right are you a ghost I'm the detective. Howdy. I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. Like two weeks, I guess? <laughs> He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those spooky ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for news for me though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, oh, it's a fact. <laughs> Detective's taking a stand on this one. Frog walk. <laughs> I 
Hi, Martin. I was in the cave. As it turned out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave had gotten caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me. It just goes to show you never trust, you should never trust books. <laughs> Always use the internet instead. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> yep. Grace Bruxner. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very helpful and informative, and important to check the validity of the author sources and to check that the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place for information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Grace Brexner. <laughs> so anyways, I was say, books have no place in our society. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. I didn't know the game was going astray. You're very welcome. <laughs> Man, Frog, do frog doesn't like books? What do you say? What can you say? No, no books for the frog. <laughs> Best dancer win! Don't forget, mow the mouse. Who? I oh, wonder the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. There, he figured out where the noises are coming from. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, give my thanks to Larry, too. Frog walk. I'm gonna see this dancing. Yeah! Stream's not over. We're, we're doing a double header. <laughs> You're welcome, Satino. Who's judging? I'll do it. Heck yeah! You guys keep it out. Who's the best? All that practice in that cave, and that's what you came up with? Finley, come on. Let's do it. Let's see the breakdancing bow. Come on. What? That, there was no breakdancing in that bow. You lose. Ooh, look at the lobster.
Wait, I can't be a contestant if I'm the judge. Frog walk. Pick the winner. Well, obviously it was me. Where am I? had moves, but does he deserve it? Belly girl says, mo, 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 mo. <laughs> Larry, we got Larry the lobster up here. Uh, what was this guy's name? T Flex. We have Orbit. Uh, we have Finley. We have, this is Mo. I don't remember your name. Uh, this is the guy who owns the island, the king. All right, all right, which one is the sloth here? Is this the sloth? Half of them just look like bears. King sloth. Oh, okay. I've seen that from the eyes. <laughs> I'm not an animal detective. I'm a, I'm a not ghost detective. Look, he's got roses and a trophy. That might be a good time to refresh. Well, um, a oh, there's more. A little bit later, maybe we can talk to the supervisor. Look, we got a new picture. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Supervisor. I don't even think Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted the groove at the dance competition. Where'd you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel in HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of the Warlock Woods? Lobster Cup wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in the case of the invisible wizard. I like the little wizard drawing. It's a pretty good wizard drawing. Frogdetective.net. All right, we're moving on to the next one. After this frog walk. Do 
new graphic settings on this one. Uh, not any more helpful. Probably worse. And I gotta update my stream settings, and that should hopefully do it. Uh, I couldn't. There were like a bunch of song references, uh, but I think there were different songs, or maybe it wasn't a song that I was familiar with. Let's, um, what was that shortcut to make the Unity controls appear? I don't remember it. Like Alt F12 or something? Nah. Yeah, if we want to do an intermission, uh, everybody feel free to, to take a break. In fact, maybe I'll, I'll stop the stream and restart it. That way there's uh, some segmentation in the videos. Yeah, he's not used to screenshot it. All right, we'll be back in five minutes, everyone. 